Hi everyone, we're on our way to Sydney Airport to finally visit the Philippines after three years since the pandemic and since Theo was born. This will also be Theo's very first plane ride, so we're very excited and hopefully everything turns out well. We are now here in the airport. We had a quick snack before heading to the boarding gate. Theo's just having a bit of fun here with a swivel chair. No tantrums yet. He's been very cooperative so far. The travel light, we didn't bring any prom with us, so we're all on foot, including Theo. So hopefully we'll all survive. Okay. At this point, Theo is now tired, which is of course to be expected. He is now sitting on top of our carry-on luggage. It is now serving dual purpose, both as a luggage and his carriage. <laughs> One thing I love about being in the airport is you get to wait a lot. So here we are watching planes while waiting to get on our aircraft. Just a little queue right before we could get on the plane. Thankfully, our toddler is mature enough to entertain himself. And I think we're really lucky because he's been very easy to deal with. No breakdowns or tantrums so far, considering that he had to wake up early for this flight. He's not pooping. He's saying, I'm hiding, mama. And after almost three hours of queues for check-in, for baggage and security check, and all sorts of waiting game, we are finally on the plane. Theodore is still very much well behaved. He's happy with his movies and his snacks. Because he has allergies, we brought a couple of his favorite vegan snacks. And thank God we did. It keeps him occupied since there's not a lot of things to do on the plane. He even managed to eat his meal on his own. Is having stir fried Asian noodles with chicken in here. One thing I noticed is I think he's having a little discomfort with the noise because he keeps on saying, I'm brave, I'm not scared of the loud engine of the plane. But overall, he had a great time. He enjoyed his first ever plane ride. And we are really proud of our toddler for being well behaved for the whole duration of the flight, including the airport wait times. He also kept his seatbelt on and face mask at all times, except during toilet breaks and meal times. Yeah, For a day see. one in the Philippines, Theo is spending some quality time with his Lolo Bear and like Lolo Okay. Like this. That. And then we had brunch at Tagaytay with Lolo Bear and Lola LV and Tito JR and Tito Joe. What do you order? I don't know what to eat. What to eat? What to eat? What to eat? What to I want to go to Philippine mango and he is now in love with it. His new favorite drink is mango smoothie. Okay, go. Drink summer. Drink summer. Drink summer. Drink summer. Drink summer. Drink summer. Too cold. Too cold. <laughs> I want. But uh, it will make it brain free. Ay, it will make you brain free, so you have to drink slowly. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Okay.
Hmm? What happened to Jesus? What happened to him? He died on the horse, Remember? Can you pray? I don't know if there's anything. Oh, just pretend that you're running it. Yeah. That you're driving it. Next day we went to our house so he could meet my side of the family but mostly to play with JM. He wants you to chase him. Yeah, chase, chase. Hey. I'll give it to me, please. Thank you, JL. Okay, thank you. Time I went to a place called Paseo de Santa Rosa, which is south of Manila. You can see here that Theo is really amazed by the giant Christmas decors. Where's Theo? He is missing. <laughs> Are you having fun? Don't touch the light. No, 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 gently only. And that's it for this vlog, guys. Uh, watch out for the second part as Theo will go to Barakai.